Okay, in this video we're going to go through and do some basic statistics in Excel. You're going to need this for the uh, very first exercise you have in there about making decisions uh, and how to set things up. So that's where we're going to head. So I'm going to switch us over now to, to Excel because in Excel the basic descriptive st statistics that we normally use uh, when we're talking about a data set is uh, average, the median, max, min, standard deviation. Most of you probably already know how to do this, um, but just in case uh, you don't, what we have below here is a, a set of data, uh, 31 days of um, January 1st through 31st, and the number of customers that came into a restaurant. So we're just going to take this data here and, and run through it. Um, very first thing that we have here in Excel, is if, if you want to calculate the average, if you go ahead and highlight any of the cells that you want and then start typing in the function equals uh, most of the Excel functions make sense if you start typing in average you should see that average pops up as one of the options for you if you double left click on it it opens up and says okay we're gonna do an average and we need to go select a series of numbers so while this is still blinking, if you come down to the number of customers that we have, left click and drag till you get to the bottom of the data. You can release it once you have all your data in it. Come up to this, close it off, and then hit enter. It'll tell you that we have a, just a little over 28 customers per um, per day. Okay, so that is that is the idea that's uh, behind using Excel. Second, for median, we'll type in equals ME and median pops up. We're going to do the exact same thing. Double left click. It's asking us which numbers we're discussing. Pull it down. Close it off. Median is 27. Max equals MA, there's max right there, double left click, gather up all of our information, maximum is 40, repeat for men, And then finally, we're going to do standard deviation equals, and I've gone ahead and abbreviated standard deviation because uh, this is one where it's a little bit different for Excel. Um, depending on the version of Excel that you have, you will either get just an STDEV that pops up for you, or uh, if you have one of the later versions of Excel, you have two options of either doing a dot S or a dot P. The dot S is a standard deviation of a sample the dot P is a standard deviation of a population. Just as a reminder from your statistics classes that you've taken in the past, uh, most of the time you just have a sample of information. You don't have everything. You don't have the entire population. So I recommend that uh, when you're doing statistics, go ahead and just do the uh, sample. So double left click on standard deviation of a sample, highlight our items, we are done. All of our data is in there. The only thing that I would tell you from this standpoint right now is that uh, Excel is very good about giving you lots and lots of uh, uh, significant digits um, with the answer. The truth is your boss never wants to see that the average is 28.06452. Way too much information. So most of you probably already know in Excel that that you can change how many significant digits that you have by just coming up here when you're on the home tab come over and just reduce if you decrease the decimal left click it and bring it back across to where it makes sense your boss is probably going to be okay with a, a a point one or something like that but going any further than that doesn't make any sense same thing here with standard deviation let's reduce this down to where it's just a point two at this point, you have all of your statistics that you could take. You could copy this and then bring it over to your Word document and be fine. So that's what we have going on with the uh, basic descriptive statistics, and hopefully that will get you finished up.
Thanks.